there was a couple situations where the boat went up in the air and as it came down, its, its spray mm. came up and it hit the helicopter. Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm here with a brand new podcast. It's called Tales from Channel 16, and we're in Adrenaline Studios with Paul Barth. Paul Barth is one of the premier photo helicopter pilots in the industry, and we brought him in today to talk to you about some of the most exciting things that we do behind the scenes. Paul, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So your motto is barefoot and backwards. Yeah, that's kind of a hashtag I've got, yes sir. So how does that work? Do you actually fly barefoot? I sure do. Um, mostly for offshore work when we're doing boat photography and offshore work. Uh, mainly it's, it's more of a safety thing. It's not just a, a gag. It's because if we do go in the water, I want to be able to swim easily without having heavy shoes on. So you've got a crew in the boat down below. You're flying a helicopter. You've got the, the, the blades whirring. How do you communicate with those guys and get them where you want them? Well, there's different ways, obviously. We, we use um, hand signals quite a bit, but also radios. Uh, they do have marine radios in the boats. Sometimes they have handhelds, and we have a, a marine radio in the helicopter, so we can actually, I can talk, or even Tom, the photographer, can talk on the radio to the people in the boat. Now, I know ICOM Radio is a sponsor of Boating Magazine's cover photos. Do you use ICOM Radios? 100%. I, have, I carry an ICOM uh, marine radio in my safety vest, in my survival vest. I have ICOM handhelds for marine uh, and also aviation uh, communication. I use ICOMs in all of our communication. Yes, sir. Tales from Channel 16 are brought to you by ICOM America, the makers of world-class VHF marine communications equipment and the official VHF radio of Boating Magazine's cover shoots. As I said, I, I, I hone my skills uh, chasing, you know, offshore power boats. Sure. Obviously, when you're chasing a power boat, a, a race boat offshore, the boats are getting air. And, and you know, they wreck, sometimes they roll over. Well, there was a couple situations where the boat went up in the air, and as it came down, its spray mm. came up and it hit the helicopter. And I took a pretty good hit a couple times, and I finally learned where not to be. And to, to anticipate that, and that again is just part of the experience. I've had some other situations, I'm not going to mention names, but I was had a photographer that I was flying and doing a boat shoot, for, I think it was actually for boating, and we're offshore chasing a boat. Well, again, I do a lot of sideways, a lot of backwards, and uh, when I reset, you know, after we're flying backwards or whatever, to reset when, when we're done, I'll just flip it back around. Now, sometimes it flips around a little slower than other times. Other times it flips around pretty quick. And for me, it doesn't matter because I got controls, I'm hanging on, I'm strapped in. Well, I had one photographer kind of slide off his seat and go outside the helicopter. Hang, <laughs> hanging from his harness. He was hanging from his harness. And that was obviously a slight miscalculation on both our parts. But because he was strapped in, because he was a trained professional, it was a non-event. Yeah. And that's what we do. And that makes sure everybody's trained, strapped in. And that's one thing that we have to, as, as, as photo and film pilots, it's our responsibility to keep everybody safe and also to make sure they're strapped in and have the right equipment. And I carry the right equipment. We have special harnesses. We have special releases in case we go in the water so we can get out. All those things we have planned out and we have in place. Do you ever have, a, um, you know, you see in the, in the military where they, they deliberately... Um, sink a chassis of a yes. chopper. Do you it, ever yes. train like that? Yes, I do. Every year. Every year I go through the dunker course. And I will say it is good. It's, it's excellent training. Everybody should do it who goes in a helicopter over water. Uh, but I will tell you, even if you're trained and you go through once a year, even the best people can have a hard time getting out of an aircraft in certain circumstances. So without it, you, you really have not much of a chance. Well, they pretty much can't imitate the 80 mile an hour impact that you're about to true, have. True, true that, but also, um, especially, you know, presence of mind in a real emergency. You know, you have to, you know, by training, you train your brain to be calm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you don't do it enough, when you when you panic, that's when things happen. How are you going to bring some guys along behind you to take your place? Well, you got anybody else working for you? <laughs> no, that's a good question, and that's and also it's a, it's a problem. There is nobody out there that wants to do it. It seems, I've tried to find some young guys, some you know pilots who wanted to 
be mentors, you know, I'd be a mentor to them, excuse me, they'd be protégés or whatever, uh, learn the business. It just doesn't seem like there's, there's many of them out there. Well, Paul Barth, what is your, if people want to look you up, how do they find you? So you can find me at uh, Paul Barth Heli on Instagram. And that's also associated with Camera Copters. Camera Copters is my filming company. And also you can find me at Airborne Tactical, which is my tactical training company, uh, Airborne Tactical Train Solutions. All right. Paul, thanks so much for Thank being you. with us. It pleasure. Was a thanks pleasure for having to me. Talk to you. Thanks for having me. I, I really enjoy working with those with your photographers and with Boney Magazine, and and hope to continue on until the end of my career. Well, until the end of mine as well. <laughs> I'm Randy Vance with ICOM America's Tales from Channel 16, and we're out for now. Tales from Channel 16 are brought to you by ICOM America, the makers of world-class VHF marine communications equipment and the official VHF radio of Boating Magazine's cover shoots. <laughs>